In the wake of a disaster, Intrepid improves first responders' efficiency and safety when exploring and assessing a complex environment, saving time and, ultimately, lives. The Intrepid project has leveraged the most innovative technologies to develop and validate a groundbreaking secured and scalable solution. Helping first responders to safely explore, understand and decide. This three-year project has been funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme. The Intrepid platform has been demonstrated thoroughly during three real-life tests. The third and last one takes place in Los Molinos, in an abandoned hospital. We will focus on this one. During this pilot, the consortium demonstrated the various technologies developed during the three years of the project. Real-time positioning module, field network, smart indoor UAV, smart UGV, augmented reality device, doctrine model and authoring tool, path planning module, intelligence amplification module, INMOS, intrepid mobile system, environment mapping module, environment assessment module, Symbiotic Operation Control Module. This whole system was integrated and tested through to ensure increased safety and operational capacity of end users. It will help first responders limit risk exposure and save more lives. The starting point is an explosion in a crowded public hospital. The context involves an undetermined number of victims potential chemical risks, fire, rubbles and smoke. The intrepid teams arrive at the location and set up the positioning system on first responders. The INMO system is deployed in the command post, as well as all the devices available. The 3D BIM model of the building is downloaded and displayed in INMOS. The medical post is set up to receive the victims and provide first aid. The firefighters install the communication system that will cover the whole area. The system's intelligence amplification engine, trained and guided by the doctrine model, is ready to provide decision support on the situation. The first recommendation of the system is to scan the area. The UAV and the UGV are launched. They both scan the area, individually or in collaboration, to detect, collect and transfer as much information as possible to give all the first responders the best possible understanding of the environment. The Environment Assessment Module processes the data streams from the scan, looking for possible hazard, victims or point of interest. They are autonomously added to the INMOS map. A contaminated area is then detected thanks to the CBRN sensor mounted on the UGV, along with a fire outbreak. Thanks to the environment mapping module, the users have an up-to-date view of the building, including any change from the explosion, blockages or rubble. One victim is detected on the drone stream video on the second floor, and two other victims are detected on the first floor. The robot finds three other victims on the ground floor and that the door is blocked by rubbles. All this information is gathered on the INMO system. We now have a clear and 3D view of the actual environment. The mobile communication allows the systems to send missions and tasks from the command post to first responders on field. The system also includes an MCPTT that enables FRs to communicate easily with the system and their colleagues. The mission extract victim from the contaminated area is sent to the appropriate team. The victim is then brought to the medical post. Firefighters are tasked to extinguish the fire. The safest path is calculated and directly sent to the end user's mobile. It takes into account the current knowledge of the environment previously gathered by the UGV and UAV, such as blocked doors or rubbles. Victims 2 and 3 are then rescued and extracted. The UGV is sent next to the victim 4 to collect health information for triage. A mask is brought to the victim and vocal communication is established. 
the RTPM solution is once again used to help trace the first responders inside the building where GPS is not available. The localizations of the agents are known all the time by the system. The K-9 team is then deployed to search the unavailable area. The Pilot 3 scenario ends with the discovery of another victim who is extracted and rescued. It's easy to work with the phone and with the tablets because it's very visual. And from the end user point of view, today was a very, very good coordination. We managed to have a very successful pilot with a much more mature technology that made us feel that interrupted is really the future for us. No, good luck, oh, good luck, a good job and uh, yeah, for, well for everyone. Yeah, but, but keep, keep on going, keep on going. The future looks brilliant for you.